We'll take it to Alabama now, where that state passed what is called the Alabama Vulnerable Child Compassion and Protection Act. Back in May, this was passed. It prohibits puberty blockers from being given to anyone under the age of 19. And a conservative pro-life group called Eagle Forum advocated for passing that law. But now they're being subpoenaed by the Justice Department for just that. Chris Ullman is the president of Eagle Forum joining us live. Chris, thank you so much for coming on. We do appreciate that. Uh, so I'll show this headline here to catch viewers up um, from the Washington Examiner. And it says this Alabama judge has chance to be a hero for the First Amendment. And it reads in part, quote, the subpoena was issued by Assistant U.S. Attorney Jason Cheek, seeking five full years of records about every discussion the Eagle Forum had in support of a new law to restrict gender transition procedures upon children. Um, and again, it was calling for, he called the original subpoena vastly overbroad and unduly burdensome. What are your thoughts on this, uh, Ms. Ullman here, in, in terms of this subpoena and what a judge would decide? Again, no formal decision has been made by this judge, if I understand this correctly. Yes, we're still waiting for him to um, file his order in the case, but we're very confident um, that most of this subpoena at least will be struck down. It's so interesting that the things the judge said about it being vastly overbroad and really unrelated to the case at hand, which was our argument in our response to the subpoena in our motion to quash, um, it is very clear to us that the reason that this subpoena was filed to Eagle Forum of Alabama, a non-party to the lawsuit, was an attempt to chill our free speech, to hurt our freedom of association, and to stop us for, from uh, petitioning the government for a redress of grievances. And we're very happy that the judge seems to have seen through what the Department of Justice has done. In fact, going so far as as saying, you know, administrations do change every four to eight years. Do you really want the next administration to come after the ACLU and the Southern Poverty Law Center? And that was our point exactly. This is not the way that the DOJ should be treating advocacy organizations. A, a point made about the First Amendment rights, could they be violated at this time? I, again, the DOJ issuing that subpoena, again, waiting for the judge to adhere to it from statements made. It doesn't appear that's the way that the judge would lean, but again, waiting on a ruling on that. Um, but it does bring about that conversation of, and, and I'm glad you pointed this out, you're not a part of this bill, um, mm -hmm. but you did lobby uh, for this, a number of law, lobby to a, a number of lawmakers prior to the law's passage. Was there anything that they could find there? Is anything unethical that happened, maybe through conversations? What would they be looking for, the DOJ? Well, I think what they're looking for was the intent of the legislation. We did lobby the Alabama legislature, but that is every citizen's right to do so. Uh, that's what petition your government means. You see a problem in the community, you go to the lawmakers, you say, hey, this is a problem. Can you do something about it? They had three years of hearings. They wrote the bill and they wrote the findings to the bill, which is now what DOJ says, oh, we want any medical studies you have that were mentioned in the findings. And what the findings say is medical studies say these puberty blockers are harmful. We did not write the findings. We don't know what medical studies they rely on, relied on. We know they're out there, and we're happy to share what we have. But um, the subpoena is just vastly overbroad. Yeah. But what they're looking for is what was the intent? Was this anti-trans bigotry? Uh, no, the intent was to protect vulnerable children, mm. just like the title of the bill says. And... Um, you know, the Supreme Court has said legislative intent is not important when you're determining the constitutionality of the bill. So the judge even said, you know, intent isn't really relevant here. It does seem that what you're trying to do is just chill the speech of this organization, which is a volunteer organization made up of everyday citizens who have banded together to lobby their government when they see problems in the community. That's interesting. The state makes the laws, not not uh, Eagle Forum. Uh, and it's interesting right. to see the subpoena coming after y your group there. Uh, we'll continue to follow it. I'm out of time with you, but I appreciate Chris Allman coming on and again, sharing that story.
coming Thank out. Thank you of so much. Got it. All righty.